All right, here we are again for another exciting learning episode only here on Speak English with Rosendo. Today we are going to learn about 30 commonly mispronounced words in English. Okay, for the number one word, we have target. Okay, we pronounce this word as in target. Okay, we pronounce it target. The emphasis or stress is found in the first syllable, so we pronounce it target. But here, I want you to pay close attention to this one because most of the time, the problem lies in here. We, most people or some people pronounce this second syllable, which starts with G, as in jet, jet plane. But it's not the way it should be pronounced. It should be pronounced as get. Okay, get, not jet. So we combining these two syllables, we come up with the word target. Okay, say it. Target. Target. Don't say target. Okay, because the G here is sounded as G. G, as in goat. G, G, as in girl. Never say jet. J. It should be G, okay? Target. Target. Okay. Down to number two, we have four syllable words. It's pronounced ceremony, okay? The emphasis is also on the first syllable. So, ceremony. And then we have here the third syllable. We pronounce this as mo mo your mouth or your lips should be following the circular motion or formation of the mouth mo we don't say mo we don't say mo but mo so ceremony ceremony we don't say ceremony either but we say ceremony ceremony we have there the schwa r uh R, ceremony, okay, ceremony, okay. Next, we have the word, okay, it's pronounced elementary, elementary, okay, the, the stress is on the third syllable, okay, ila, another schwa, l, uh, elementary, we don't say elementary, we say elementary, elementary. Okay, next we have this one. On the fourth word, the fourth word says it should be pronounced as tabernacle, tabernacle. Okay, the emphasis is also on the first syllable, tabernacle. Okay, we don't say tabernacle. Okay, we, but we say instead, tabernacle, 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 okay? Next, for the fifth word we have, okay, I want you to pay close attention to this word because this word is pronounced epitome, epi, epitome, 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 epitome. The emphasis is on the second syllable. E. E, e, e. The short E. Epitome. 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 Okay? There's a slight circular motion or formation of the mouth in the second, in the third, on the third syllable. So, epitome. Omi. Epitome. 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 Okay? We don't say epitome, or we don't say epitome, but we say epitome, epitome, okay, epitome. Moving on to number six, we have the word, okay, it's a two-syllable word, which is pronounced salmon, 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 okay. We have here the letter L, but... When we pronounce this two-syllable word, the L is dropped. 
Hence, we say salmon. Okay? This is actually one of the commonly ordered, ordered, you know, or being purchased in restaurants by restaurant by restaurant goers. And most of them or some of them are actually pronouncing it salmon. But it's should not be. It should be salmon. Salmon. Okay? L is dropped. Take a thought. There is no L when you utter the word salmon. Okay. Next, number seven, we have pronunciation. We have pronunciation. The emphasis is on the fourth syllable. This is a five-syllable word from the root word pronounce. Pronounce is a verb, okay? It is an action word. But once you transform that into its noun form, we come up with the word pronunciation. However, we have the second syllable, pronoun. Take note of this, pronoun. It's not noun. Okay, most of the time, there are people who would actually, actually say pronoun just because of its root word pronounce, but it's not. Okay? Let me clarify. It's not noun, but none. Pronunciation. Asian, pronoun. Okay? Not noun. Noun. Okay? Don't go back to its root word pronounce. Okay? Because that is a verb form. It's verb form. But once you, you transform it into, convert it into its noun form, and then the noun will now become none. The O is dropped. That's why it's already pronounced as none. And we go pronunciation. Pronunciation. Next, number eight. We have the third day of the week. A two-syllable word. It's pronounced Wednesday. Okay? The S is sounded as Z, Z, soft Z. Wednesday. We don't say Wednesday. It's Wednesday. 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 Next, we have the word women. Women. Okay, this is the plural form of the word women. Women. However, when we change a, the vowel A, or the letter A, into E, to form its plural form, it goes women, women, okay? A, the short A, the I, the E, is pronounced or enunciated as short E, represented by the vowel letter, by the letter I, which is the short E sound, E. We women 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 we don't say we mean we don't say we men either but we say we men women okay not mean not men but men women women okay next we have southern this is pronounced as southern southern Southern. You might ask yourself, why Southern? The root word is South. Yes, it's one of the directions of the North, East, West, South. The root word of this word is South. However, when you add the word burn, okay, earn, then it becomes Southern. That is the rule. Okay, that is the English pronunciation rule for this word. Okay. It's just a matter of uh, familiarizing yourself with the, with the pronunciation of the word. Okay? Southern. Southern. Not Southern, but Southern. All right, before we proceed to number 11, I just want to correct myself. So, correction. Okay, pardon me. Wednesday is not actually the third day of the week, but it's actually the fourth day of the week. So, Wednesday is the fourth one, not third day of the week because we have the first 
day which is Sunday, not Monday. So we go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, it's the fourth day of the week. So we pronounce it Wednesday, Wednesday, okay? All right, moving on to number 11. We have the word, the two syllable word again. The emphasis is on the second syllable. We pronounce the word receipt, 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 receipt. We don't say, we don't say Recept. We don't say recept, but we say receipt. Receipt. Okay? The emphasis is on the second syllable. Next, 12, we have the word, a two syllable word, which is pronounced vengeance. We pronounce this as vengeance. 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 We don't say vengeance, but we say vengeance 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 okay this emphasis is on the first syllable vengeance vengeance okay next we have another two syllable word which is pronounced as navis navis na this navis navis we don't say novice, we didn't say novice either, or either, but we say novice, a beginner, novice, okay, novice. Then we have another two-syllable word, which is pronounced, pronounced as asthma, asthma. She has an asthma, say asthma, there is no to sound, being said, okay, or being sounded, but it's actually asthma, okay, asthma. Next we have cash. This is pronounced as cash, cash, cash. We don't say cache, we don't say cache, but we, we say it cash, cash. All right? All right, let us now move on to the 16th word. We have the word, okay, we have how many syllables? One, two, three, four. The four word syllable, which is also commonly mispronounced. This is pronounced as entrepreneur. Entra, entrepreneur. 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 Okay, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. We don't say entrepreneur. We don't say entrepreneur. Entre entrepreneur, we don't say that, but instead we say entrepreneur, 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 entrepreneur. All right, the emphasis is on the second syllable, entrepreneur. Okay, next we have a Spanish word about English word from the Spanish. We have how many syllables? One, two, three. It's pronounced as tortillas. 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 The two L's here is changed into the sound of a Y. Y. Okay. Hence, it's pronounced tortillas. Tortillas. Tortillas, okay, tortillas, yes, tortillas, okay. Next we have, we don't say tortillas, okay, but we say tortillas. Next we have the word cocoa, cocoa, we don't say cocoa, or we don't say cocoa, co -co cocoa, but we say cocoa. Okay, there is the circular formation of the lip, again, of mouth. When we utter the word, it's coco, co, co, coco. Next we have niche. We pronounce this as niche, 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 
we don't say niche or niche, okay? But we say niche, niche. And then we have 20th number, 20th word we have berry, berry, okay? Berry, we don't say berry, we don't say beery in either, but we say berry, 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 okay? Berry. We're now down to 21. We have, okay, for the 21, we have the word breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. The emphasis is on the first syllable and we pronounce it break, not break, but break, short A. Uh, no, no, it's pronounced as E, E, breakfast. We don't say fast, but first, this is schwa, first, breakfast. <clears throat> we say it breakfast. We don't say break fast. No, we don't say breakfast, but we say breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. Next we have tomb, 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 tomb. We don't say tombed, tomb. No, we don't say, we don't enunciate the sound of b. The B sound is dropped, and then T-O is hardened to make it, pro to prolong it. We have the word U, symbolized or represented by two O's. Put together, it becomes the hard U. S -s 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 we say it's tomb, 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 tomb. Next, we have they debut, debut, debut. The emphasis is on the second syllable, bu, debut, 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 debut. We don't say debut or de debut or debut, but we say debut, debut. Next we have, okay. Lip, short E. Lip, lip, sync. Lip sync. Lip sync. We don't say lip sync. We have the k, k sound at the end. K. Lip sync. Lip sync. We don't say lip sync. We don't say lip sync. But we say lip sync. Lip sync. Lip sync. Lip sync. Next we have onion. 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 We don't say onion. We don't say onion or onion, but we say onion. 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 Do you have an onion? Onion. All right. We are now down to the final. Five, okay, from 26 to 30th, okay? We have sweet. We pronounce this word as sweet, sweet, sweet. Next we have vineyard, vineyard. We don't say vineyard or wineyard, but we say vineyard. Vineyard, vineyard. Next, we have how many syllables? One, two, three. We pronounce, we do pronounce it as physician, 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 physician. We don't say position or position or position, but we say physician, physician. Position, position. Next we have baptism, 
baptism. Baptism. When was your baptism? Baptism. The emphasis is on the first syllable. So we don't say baptism. Ba we don't say baptism, but instead we say baptism. Baptism. When was your baptism? Zim. Okay, the S is sounded as, as z. Baptism. We don't say baptism. Okay, baptism. Next we have, we have country. 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 We don't say country. We don't say country, but we say country. Country. Not country, but country. Country. All right, there you go. Our 30 commonly mispronounced words in English. Once again, I am Rosendo of Speak English with Rosendo. Before you bounce, of course, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up, share with your friends, turn on notifications, and of course, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget, of course, to share your thoughts in the comment section. Till next.